Welcome to my video presentation where I will be answering the questions based on the book The Right to Remain Innocent by James Duane. The first question I will be going over is to mention two scenarios from the book about innocent people whose circumstances changed once they spoke with the police. One situation in the book, you have the right to remain innocent by James Duane, where innocent people had their circumstances changed drastically when they spoke to the police, is when a Texas police officer deceived a man who was believed to have been accused of murder into thinking that he had his whole life ahead of him, and the incident could simply be brushed away as if it did not matter. Another situation where innocent people had their circumstances changed is when a person who was suspected to be a criminal was deceived exactly the same way as the guy in the previous situation, except this situation was kind of different when federal agents offered him quote-unquote help, even though it did not really do much, and they were just really trying to deceive him exactly the same way as previous. The second question I'll be addressing in this video presentation is to list all the reasons from the book why the author advises against speaking to the police. According to James Duane in the book, there are a lot of reasons why you should not talk to the police unless you are there with a lawyer who can help represent you, and James Duane lists all of those reasons in his book. One of the main reasons why talking to the police should not be done is because, at first, there is no benefit to actually speaking to them in the first place. It doesn't help your case. And another reason to not talk to the police is because this is not a situation in which you should be rushing to do it because it will not help you even when you don't rush in to do it. So there's no need to rush to talk to the police. Another reason why you should not talk to the police is because the police will use any little information that they can to use against you in court. And another reason why you should not talk to the police is because without an attorney, you have no representation. So therefore, it makes it a lot harder for you to talk to the police and have standing representation, which will help you out in court and many other situations. One other situation on why you should never talk to the police right away is because they can use your information against you in several ways. Even if it's a random situation that you bring in, they will find a way to use it against you. And because speaking to the police will actually give them other information that can like hurt you in another case. Like they can find more evidence that will hurt you in another situation, which is not good. The two final reasons on why you should never talk to the police is simply because an officer can get transferred or killed on the line of duty. And that information that you told the officer can then be left with him. And no one will, no one else will ever hear your testimony. And finally, if you decide to speak to the police, speaking to them can actually hurt you a lot more because speaking to them in general can cause a lot of harm to you rather than staying quiet and keeping it to yourself. The third question I'll be answering in this Q&A is what is the most important advice that James Duane gives people if they are asked to speak to the police? And my answer would be that you should never talk to any cop for any reason Never plead the fifth, and if you are asked to speak to a cop, speak your story because it needs to be heard. The fourth and final question of this Q&A is, what do you personally think of the author's advice? And I personally think that the author's advice was very helpful and very informative on why you should never talk to the police unless you are fully represented by an attorney and you have good information to support the case that you are involved in. And the book taught me all of this, and it is very, very, very helpful. Thank you for listening or watching my video presentation.